Hey there guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, this is ZMB Gamer, and I'd like to thank you for joining me once again. Um, if you remember, last time we just helped out a uh, lone quarian who was living rough, and I couldn't do anything more than get her off the hook. Something she hadn't even done. So this time I'm going to swing up to the Presidium and have a chat with uh, Captain Anderson, who I haven't seen since I stuck him on the council a couple of years ago. And I don't think he was too happy with me for doing so. We'll talk to Presidium. Just as pristine as it always was. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Mm. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors right. surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you yes, you fucking do. You owe me a lot more than that. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Well, we have dismissed that claim. <sighs> Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. Yeah. These fuckers we do this the entire way through. But that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. And we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus and before them by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe yeah, there is screw a compromise, you guys. not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement <laughs> as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. Enough. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Good. It's about as much as I can get from these bastards, but, you know. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. So do I. I don't trust uh, Cerberus as far as I can throw them. That went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. Yeah. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. I'll do my best. We need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You... Matt. Counselor, 
Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The council reinstated my specter status. They're just happy I'm staying out of the terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works. See, for both I know that Eugene is not exactly doing this out of his goodness of his own heart. Step like this without but consulting with me first, counselor. I don't. He's a dick. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Eugene is such a dick. Counselor, good day to both of you. Ah. <sighs> Sorry. Thank you for putting in this place. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How long does it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete, but estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The wow. The always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We hmm. never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have Very no useful. idea where they get the resources, but we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could, but between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason Not entirely surprising. What Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say anymore. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Oh, no, don't worry. Years treated you. I'll find her in a bit. Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Then, like most sensible people into politics. Telling the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I, know I can, but, you know. Others, so I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line... I know, I put you on that. has got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't try I'm always careful. Don't worry. Well, let's see what else I can find in the care ward. Because I've got Kasumi I need to try and find. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last greeted you. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. There we go. Thank you Commander for Shepard, the enter the password and receive a free gift. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a switch. Where do I do that, Kasumi? There we go. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit, and I have no doubts now. 
You're the real Commander Shepard. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? I'm not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Thanks. Mr. Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. Before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entry man I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That's not good. Got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Nice. His memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus yeah, wants you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. Aww, that's not quite so fun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <laughs> Smelly bitch. Well, I think that's everything I need to find here. Back to the ship, I think. Oops. Hmm. Now oh, there she is. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG I like this girl. Books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. That's nice. my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special nice girl. the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. That's impressive. Fact, on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Let's go. Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. Got a point. I like the fact that she's got a little bar. I think that's all I need. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. 
Okay, there's no actual conversation with this girl. That it's a shame. Has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him and tackled him and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. <laughs> uh, reasonable. Well, one last thing before I go. Let's go tell the quartermaster that I've got his gear. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already yes, you thrown do. together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, it's slightly racist now, but you know. Came through. Okay, I think that's a uh, reasonable point to end for the day. Thank you very much for joining me this time. I have been the Epic Gamer. Please drop me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again this time next week. Thank you very much, and goodbye.